So, today marks the one year anniversary of the Boogeyman's release. Yay! <laughs> I thought it was a good time as any to finally uh, make a recording of this game that I've played a year ago. It was, yeah, a year ago. I played this with Toby and Max uh, over in Skype. Toby is in the voice of Brendan and Max the voice of Keith who is the main character so yeah would have recorded the whole thing but I didn't really had the chance to and we were nearing the end so yeah uh anyway uh hmm I don't really remember much on the solution so we might get lost a bit and uh, you know what let's just start with this uh, before I start going on about stuff that are completely unrelated to this game oh boy I love horror Suspect. Still not out yet. It's been three hours, so I'm sure he'll be here soon. Yeah. Do you mean not get an answer? I'll call back later. Man, Keith, do you ever answer your calls? Anderson was moaning about it, you know? Wondering what's even the point in calling you. Ah, sir, he's coming out. Sir, she might be a civilian. We should really wait until he's alone. Are you going to take responsibility if he kills her? Come on. Hey, at least she should be happy that the criminal wasn't shot by a dominator. I mean, his, his crime coefficient would be higher than 300 and thus uh, triggering the lethal, uh, lethal elimination. I think that was the mode. Anyway, psychopath things. I love psychopaths. Guts will be flying all around if that were to happen. That would have been really nice though. Unfortunately, Keith isn't Kogami. <laughs> I can read gossip myself. No need you reading it out loud. Gee, you're real hit with these guys. This is the fourth article by my account. I'm jealous. Just tell me what you called me before. I've got good news. I'm giving you a vacation, honey. A month, in fact. Oh, boy. Not a chance. There's no time to rest. There's too much I need to do. You've got a good lackey, right? I almost said something inappropriate right there. But anyway, stretch your wings a bit. You mean his big fluffy pink ones? Dick, I'm telling you, there's no way. I'm ordering you as your superior. If you don't want to travel, consider it 
As long as you have Wi-Fi, there's, it's that's fine and food. She will. She'd be so happy. She'd be. Her voice would be so high pitched. He actually will, especially the gun. Actually, I think it was the notebook that he needs the most. And a pen. Jeez. <laughs> I guess Uri forgot to trim that one. <laughs> Enough of the blurring music. You can hear the hallway. <laughs> Second time's the charm, as they say. Oh, uh, well, here we go. Welcome home. How was work? Please. Not. I'm fine. Oh yes, I get a fantastic present from Mr. Anderson's wife. <laughs> this is a lot more painful than I thought. Look at these, honey. Two invitations. A three-day stay at an old castle. Hope to have a wonderful. You're very cute, though. I, I I'm gonna give give you that. You're very cute, except for the voice. Dick already told me. Uh, this is torture. If you're going, then I'm going. I'll tell our travel agent. Thanks, honey. I can't wait. Thanks, honey. I've got some work to take care of. Go to bed without me. Good night. Good night. Night, you douchebag. I'm sorry, honey. <sighs> and now this marks the... Almost an hour of opening cutscene. Where am I gonna save? I think I've saved in. Whoops! Spoilers. <laughs> uh, hey. <laughs> Spoilers. Ah, the bearings. I've been waiting for you. I'm Stevie Small, the tour conductor. I'll be your guide for this tour. Thanks. Now that you two are here, all the attendees are present. Please come aboard. We'll be leaving in roughly 30 minutes. Cover all of your ears. I know this part. I know her lines. It's really bad. It's really cringe-worthy bad. I don't know what I was thinking at the time. I don't know how that was acceptable. I, d I don't know why I thought that was acceptable. But anyway, cover your ears for this next part. I'm gonna cover my ears. No. I'm going to go introduce myself to the others. What about you? I'll head up later. You go ahead. Alright. Alright. Don't worry, baby. Baby? <laughs> Did I just call her baby? Anyway, uh, <laughs> I'll be there for you if this douchebag won't. Yeah, let's just proceed. Her mouth's a D. Hey now, Sophie, what are you doing? This guy almost swung the door right into my face, Papa. That isn't really good design there. You should you, The doors should be swinging inside the room, not outside, where you can hit people. But whatever. You said something rude to him, didn't you? 
Come now, apologize. But Papa... Sophie? Lawsuits. I'm sorry. I'll be more careful from now on. Old man. <laughs> Come on, Papa, let's get some ice cream at the lounge. Give him shit, Sophie. My apologies for that. Is she your daughter? Yes, she's my one and only precious. Full of energy, that's for sure. Oh yes, she's very excited for the trip today. I'm glad we could go. Excitement is one thing. You should try to get her to stop yelling at people like they would near collision. If she's talking to the wrong guy, it could be trouble. <laughs> You're very right, but I think it's much better than keeping all her dissatisfaction to herself. Flashback to the Sandman. I'm Richard Grumbler. That was my daughter, Sophie. Glad to meet you. Keith Barry. Did you come alone? No, with my wife. No, he came alone. I don't know this guy. Oh, wonderful. I hope we both have a great trip. Well, excuse me. And I'm going to follow you. Richard sounds like my dad. Oh boy. Hi, honey. Keith, this is Shirley. Keith, nice to meet you. I'm Shirley Weber. Say, she came here with her husband. Oh yes, where is he now? He told me he went to take a smoke, so he might be up on the deck. Hey, what's with the suit? You're on vacation, you know. Oh, let me guess. You're with the men in black? Sorry, but I don't have sunglasses. Or a neuralizer. <laughs> Too bad. Well, let's enjoy our trip, shall we? I could always find here, here another dialogue. The tea here is delicious. You like tea? No. Absolutely. What about you? Sorry, I can't stand the stuff. I feel Shirley. I can't stand tea either. Actually, I do drink tea from time to time, but I prefer coffee. He's gonna start with you. He's probably going to murder you by throwing you out of the ship. I don't know. Must have a lot of time on your hands to read all those tabloids. Don't say that. These tabloids you rag on you come from the same publisher I work for. That's all it is. I'm here to take pictures. Heard there was a new tourist trap opening. They invited me here for publicity. Can you hear that? That's the sound of my computer acting up again. I'm so sorry. Like how loud you two are when you're in bed. I, I, I mean, what? Yeah. Good luck with that. Oh yeah, no sexual jokes on YouTube. I'm, I forgot. I'll be watching, detective. What, detective? Want to take a commemorative photo? Sorry, but I'm busy snapping the scenery. Bother somebody else. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Hi, honey. Bye, honey. Why not? Both habits. Never been on the ship except for the job. Did you come alone? No, I came with my wife. I was going to invite some friends along, another couple, but the 
husband ended up in the hospital. Came down with something. He ruined his stomach from eating too many chili dogs. Always been kind of a moron. I wonder why. So he invited another girl and her father. They were always saying they didn't get to go on vacation often. The Wolfers. Right. They were both really pleased. I'm glad I invited them. Too bad about my friends, though. You joined yourself in their place, then. <laughs> yep, that's the plan. Oh, I, I could always talk to him one more time, but I guess that's not happening. Oh, shit. Right. Matter. Mine from Helena here. Oh, my gosh. Look at the size of that. It's fantastic. Now cover your ears on this part. It really is. I can't wait to take a look inside. Yeah, and it's like the kind of place you'd get a murder case on an old cop show. Oh, stop being such an oddball. David raising the flags. Here we go. Let's kill everybody. I want to. <laughs> oh, I get it. You're telling us we have to camp out in front for this tour. Hey, don't complain. I mean, I it, it might be outside. It might be a bit cold, but at least the scenery is nice. That's odd. I'm sure I told him we were fine. Hello? It's Stevie from NA Travel. I just love how modern... <laughs> Door bill is. Hello? Brendan, are you there? I'm here. Is everybody ready? I told you guys were here. Fix it. Bitch, there's Miss. Nah, the class is. Well, they're still lame. Hey, time for the guests. Ugh. Welcome, welcome. I've been waiting for you. I'm Brendan Dumont, the proprietor of this castle. I thought you'd never come. Thanks for leading them here. Thanks for leading them to their deaths. Thank you for showing up, Brendan. I was worried you weren't here. Oh, I should introduce the... There's no need, Stevie. I'm already well aware of our guests. That's creepy. Mr. Lance, the Grumblers, Mr. David, and Mrs. Shirley, and last but not least, the Barrys. They came in Sandy Anderson's. <laughs> what a delight. I know, right? Young guy. You take care of this place all by yourself? Yes, that's right. You must be tired from that long walk around. I'll lead you to your rooms inside. You'll be a while until dinner, so make yourself at home. Here to Jeez, look. The view is so wonderful from here. It's like we're back in Europe. You remember when we went to France and you? Shouldn't you answer that? Uh, suddenly, my voice is really high. All right, I mean. Loud, not high. It's Eric, no doubt. I'll call him back later. I wonder what the others are up to. I'll go take a look. Are you coming, honey? No, he will be. Later tonight. <laughs> Sorry. Not right now. Later. See? <laughs> Not right now, later. Oh, we're going outside anyway, after our wife. She's my wife, not yours, Keith. Okay, back off. I call dibs. No, you're the cutie pie. Would you like to play key? I'll pass. Aw, uh, too bad. I have a feeling you're great at poker. I hope this is strip poker so we can see. <laughs> I'll stop, I'll stop, I'll stop, I'll stop. How about playing poker with us, honey? Nah, I'm fine. I just can't play. I'm gonna get blood. Please be strip poker. David loses every time, so he... Strips his clothes off. <laughs> wow, even this hall is huge. You could hold a dance here. Now that would be nice. Perhaps we should have brought some nice dresses for you. Hey, Lance, take a picture of me and Papa, will you? Eh, sorry, I, I don't do people. Ask a friend if you want a photo, Missy. <laughs> Cheap, man. 
Hey. A movie set, huh? No, detective, out of the frame. I got a job to do here, you know? I'm sure are enthusiastic about your work. No need me fixing you. Well, I do look young, but I got some kind of guy. The plan is to tour the castle in the morning, then go around town in the afternoon. The car will be here to pick us up at one. Ah, so what time does Ed make lunch? Twelve seems good to me. All right, I'll tell the employees. Hey, man. Hi, Mr. Baring. Are you enjoying yourself? Take a look anywhere. I don't mind. I know, I know. It's a terribly large place. Do you have a torture chamber around here? A dungeon with shackles? Ooh, kinky. <laughs> I won't stop. I can't stop. I, I said I wouldn't stop, but I can't. Oh, Mr. Baring. Here's the menu for dinner tonight. Anything that needs changing? Any allergies? My wife wouldn't same. Uh, one more uh, similarity, I guess. I don't eat meat either. Understood. I'll tell the cook. Will she be all right with fish? Sure. And how about dessert? You have your choice of cheesecake, grass jelly, or creme brulee. Creme brulee seems good. I'd... Cheesecake is horrible. Grass jelly might be okay. What kind of cheesecake is it? Rare. Do you always like to bake? Make a creme brulee. No, is there no Pepsi? <laughs> Certainly, sir. <laughs> you know your wife's taste so well. Personally, I'm so forgetful. The other day, I brought some Casablancas home for her, and she told me she hated them. You just have to remember any little detail the next time. Absolutely. If there is a next time. Do -do -dun -dun -dun. Anyway, let's progress the story by going over here. Over here, and this red book. Oh, what a surprise! So, this is where you were. You just saw me a couple of minutes ago. Sorry for wandering in here. Or seconds, maybe. Oh, no, no, I don't mind. Such a large study, isn't it? I used to play hide and seek in here as a kid, and my dad always told me off. So many piles of old, precious books, too. Fortunately, I don't really know how much they're worth. Is that book about the history of the castle? Ah, you've been doing some reading. A very disturbing history, isn't it? The former lord of the castle was quite the tyrant. He severely taxed the islanders, and persecuted anyone who rebelled. There are many odd rooms in this castle, actually. I'm sure they were used for punishment. Tomorrow, so... so you'll see all the guts and blood that haven't been cleaned up in the corpses. Yay! You said you managed this place yourself. It must be hard. Well, only as of late. I went to film school, actually, and did some work in Hollywood. It wasn't too long ago I returned here. After I passed out, I inherited the property, so... Mm-hmm. Yes, it's a hard job to do alone, especially with all those strange rooms. So I thought I'd promote this place as a tourist destination. It's a pretty dangerous tourist destination. I'm not too interested in the castle myself. I hate to live out the rest of my days in a deserted place like this. This story's kind of a test drive, you might say. CB has been a great help with everything. No need to worry. I'm sure it'll be a hit scene. No, I do hope you're right. Say, Mr. Baring, you're a detective, right? That's so neat. I love police dramas, and I watch Law and Order all the time. <laughs> I bet you Uri watches Law and Order. <laughs> She watches everything that she puts in here, if she puts a reference to. Sorry, but it's not a great job. And she does have a good taste. Well, in the eyes of an ordinary citizen who blends into the crowd, I think it's swell. <laughs> I'm jealous. Oh, I'm jealous that you own a castle. Must attract a lot of girls. What are you trying to say here, Keithy? Hmm. <laughs> I wish it would. I'd love to meet a wonderful woman like you have. Well, if you'll excuse me. I was going to say, you can take her, Brandon, but no, no, I'll take her. Hey, David, you going to eat your bunny cow dough?
God, so rude. <laughs> You didn't even touch any of it. Won't be having any more? No. Gosh, Mr. Keith never smiles. That's not him in it, Susie. Marriage with Helena. He's always that way. <laughs> what is he? A robot? <laughs> a robot detective. Please robo <laughs> Don't be rude. <laughs> Oh yeah, I bet she reads those magazines too. a big dick. And go die. I'll just say it. Don't stick your dick into this. Plus, Eric's always relied on you too much. Now's the time to whip him into shape. <laughs> whip him. Now, don't call again. Got it? I ain't gonna tell you nothing. Well, go to hell. Same to you. So long. Uh -huh. I probably shouldn't be making all these comments because you might think all right this is candid uh, helena just told keith to go fuck himself <laughs> jesus so i said i wanted to see robin but my wife said she wanted to see me too and we fought and fought and in the end robocop won but things were very stormy after that i know how that goes cheryl and i never want to see the same movies a lot of the time we come to dinner together and go our separate show us more tomorrow, yeah? Is there anywhere that's off limits? I haven't really asked Brendan about that. I'll check with him tomorrow. If tomorrow ever comes. Yeah, here we go. I am not ready for this. I didn't have to go with the sh again there, but whatever. Uh, uh, I'm going to bed now. Good night. Why were you crying? Because I'm emotional. What do you think? Sit down. I want to talk for a bit. We've been talking for a bit now, Helena.
Yeah, my voice just went really deep there. We're at a very important crossroads, a kind of day-day for a decision, I guess, or divorce. Oh boy. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No, that's not it. No, I could hate you. I hate you. It's not that. It's not you. It's a problem with me. With you. Why am I whispering? Good night. I love you. I don't mean to ruin that moment, but it took me six tries to get the I love you out properly. Let's hold here, Bonnie. Let's get some juicy tidbits. Sales will shoot up for you, man. Didn't I tell you I can't take photos of people? You keep your money for going pits in that room, ass detective. Are you going to ask Helena to model? <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad idea. I'd love to see him keep his money. Let's be honest here. We're going to tour the island tomorrow, right? I can't wait. That's right, but you'd better get to bed soon so you can wake up tomorrow, yes? What are you saying, Papa? You gotta enjoy both days and nights on vacation, right? We should talk. I agree. Stay up until 5 o'clock in the morning and then go to sleep and then wake up at 7 o'clock and get a really massive headache. Just like what I've been doing all summer. <laughs> when I'm not working. Why? We already spoke with the others plenty today. And I'm sure they're all going to sleep now. Mm, but I didn't talk to you much, Papa. Come on, let's talk. <laughs> That's my selfish little girl. I think it's really cute how she calls Richard Papa and her mom Mama. That's really cute. Uh, she, she's she's really fortunate not to have to call her parents Mommy and Daddy like I do. Like I I've never grown out of it. Oh, absolutely. I've never met a person finer than your mother. You're starting to remind me of her yourself, though you need to be a bit more mature. I wouldn't recommend calling your parents mommy and daddy when you're an adult. It gets a bit weird. Uh, yeah, we've seen uh, mature Sophie in Bad End 2. In The Sandman. I think it was Bad End 2. Can't remember. So I can't be childish, huh? You can. Now, Sophie, you can be whatever you want to be. No matter what, you're a precious family to me. A true treasure. And your mother as well, of course. That is a good husband and a good papa. <laughs> Got a text from mom. Bring back souvenirs, you ass. What's wrong? Doesn't Helena remind you of your mother? She does. Wait, so there's kind of an air about her now that you mention it. What's this all of a sudden? Never mind, I just had a thought. Oh, so did something happen? She's pregnant. Well, I've never been on a trip like this before. I don't know how I should act. It's different from traveling with friends, isn't it? Hey, just enjoy yourself. You won't have any fun worrying over everything. We'll make some great memories. What about your memories of me? Oh, that's a good point. I wonder how many will be. Woohoo! Oh, look at the time. Better get to sleep. Hey, what about making memories? <laughs> yeah, you can start by like fucking right there in the bed. Uh, sorry, sorry, that was uncalled for. Yeah, 
You remember the time you tickled me in bed at a castle and someplace in America? Yeah, that was a really great memory. Great, great memory. Like we were talking about a lady earlier who, who, she, who I thought to be to resemble your mom in a sense. Great memories. Wonderful. Yo, douche, stop smoking. I'm probably gonna annoy a lot of people for being an asshole to Keith. But I can't help it. Ooh, mysteries. Saving. <sighs> Gone. Every door is open. I don't want to explore that. Let's just go and advance the story. Anyway, I'm not being an ass to Keith just because I don't like him. I actually do kind of like him. It's just sometimes I let my mouth run way too much and I ended up saying weird things. Like no sexual innuendos earlier. And just generally being an asshole to this guy because... Why are you so fucking cold, Keith? Why are you like that? Why do you treat your wife like that? That's not nice. Boogeyman. I always thought the boogeyman was some 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 kind of person that likes to dance because boogieing, not some ma monster under your bed or closet, as this game likes to insinuate. Now this is a game I can get behind. Murder. Are you for real, man? It's been 40 minutes. The recording thing said, saying so. 
It's been 40 minutes. This is still the opening cutscene. You've got to be joking. Yeah, like the one from the Powerpuff Girls or the one from the Night of the uh, Night Before Christmas. I think it was that one. No, that's really creepy. A stalker, huh? I can appreciate a good pun that is really good. So just lock the fucking door. <laughs> Seriously. Anyway, we gotta do this now. Gotta 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 do this. I don't know why I went that way. Could have gone. Hi. I remember this part. I don't remember the other parts upstairs later though. Sounds like he sneezed. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Yeah. Take this. Thank you. Please get up there. Thank you. Well, this is bright, I guess. Hi Stevie, let me just get this thing right here. Oh, look at you now.
Then why did you drop Brendan then if if they're just for show? I think I know what you're going to do. Good luck, detective, because what you've done could be a big disgrace. Failing to save someone you could have, right? I guess seeing my save, my save slots is a spoiler because now you know that, hey, you can play as Sophie and then David joins the party. Stuff. Oh yeah, why did I go over here? Can't open it over there. Dead person, nice. You're good at catching unlucky fish. Good, very good. It's not gonna say, don't worry, be happy. <laughs> Never mind. Just get this over with. Finish that one. We can't solve this one. I can go over there, but there's nothing in there yet. Uh, lovely. Lovely. That's actually really clever how she did that. If you only s inspected it at the sides, then you would, uh, you would miss the videotape. No, I don't want to go up. Let's release the locks. this thing Helena was actually supposed to speak in this video tapes. I got instructions from Uri on what she would be like in these situations. And to be honest, I'm actually kind of glad that she doesn't speak here because it's a lot more effective with the videos being very silent. Yeah, I actually I think it actually adds more to the ten tension. Probably tension. But it's a lot better than just him, him just Listening to her go, or something like that. Her crying. Oh, yeah, why am I here? I'll get back to that in a sec. Control panel for pull down stairs to 3F. 2165370047. Really? Anyway, let me just write that down here. I know it's not the correct one, but still. 
2165304. There we go. And this is where she was stabbed. There's a blood splatter there. She got stabbed in her struggle. Two, one, six, five, three, seven, zero, four. Thanks. Boogie gets you in a super trance. You get high on Boogie. Cool. Now let's just look at this. Color one is red. Number two is blue. Number three is green. Number four is yellow. Five, pink. Six, orange. Seven, purple. Eight, eight, seven, only seven. All right. So that one's purple there. So seven, first one. Red is one. There's nothing there at the moment. Nothing there, nothing there. Green is three. And then yellow is four. The very last. Probably zero. Orange is six. Pink is five. Blue is two. Hey, at least I think that's blue. Blue and boogie, all right. Light blue. Seven, one, zero, six, five, three, two, four. Good. Now say because this is the first place I died. <sighs> oh, sugar. Saving. A lot of people miss this part in the puzzle, which is really bad if you want to get the happy ending. Looks like some people are home. I think it's my brother, but anyway, it's about to get really noisy here.
need to get this scene if you want to get a happy ending, otherwise you're fucked. Holy crap, her voice is so high. Keith, are you okay? Are you hurt? Ugh, it's so high. And now we're back to the normal range. Helena, Helena. Tell me what to do. I'm fine. I swear. I'll be fine. Wait for me, Keith. Kyle. Don't worry. Kyle. Helen. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Close that gate there. I left it open. Boogeyman's probably watching the whole scene from the back and say, Ah, oh, yes, the lovely couple taking their final moments talking before I kill them, or one of them, or both of them. Kill them both, that's fine. Good lord, we're almost at an hour, but that's fine. That was actually pretty cute. No. Bro, you've been speaking a lot. Come on, just get on with it. Hurry, Keith, get me out of here. Yeah. Saddest. Now, perhaps you see why the cowboy can only see reality through the lens. So I'll take a photo for you. Now put that photo in the frame, hang it up, play some flowers, and pray. On the anniversary of your death, smile for the camera. If this was the lance from Voltron, then he might have smiled.
I can take this. Oh, he doesn't. Right, that's fine. Cause I remember seeing that before. By that I mean, Uri gave us, sent us a video of how things will be like, and that was her method of it. She destroyed it with a wrench hammer, and then she used the restraint string keys to get him off there. I'm gonna turn on the volume higher. Actually, no, I'll do that in the next video then. You, that's not how you calm people down. Why do you do it? How have I now? Not at all from the sofa, and then uh, I'm all tied up. Kinky. Didn't notice being transported here. So I said I was sleeping, didn't I? I'll tell you what I know. That man's kidnapped everyone who was on the tour. I haven't found any of them yet, besides you. You found Helena. Oh yeah. Well, he was still hanging by a thread by the time I arrived. Wasn't there some way to save him? There's no blood packs. There's no jello fusion. I don't think you can even stop the bleeding right there. I mean, you could try, but he's too far gone. He's been bleeding out for a long time. Trust me, I'm a doctor. I'm not a doctor. Even if I were, he lost too much blood. True. Bridal style. Give me a break. Hey, go look for the others if you want. But don't you think it'd be faster to nail that guy down first? Leaving him alone is downright dangerous. It's a hostage situation. Who knows how many elders are being slowly killed like Steve? Catching him is pointless if you can't guarantee he'll be saved. He's already killed several people. I'll catch him at this point. Well, you actually can. I mean, he shows up at every single thing, like, before you have to save someone, you, he shows up. So, you can actually just kind of get him right there, you know? And then, look for the others. You can't suffer any more careless losses. Losses? Huh, that what you call murders. Why, stop hounding me. I gotta charge the computer. Hang on. All settled. Let's go. Oh yeah, this is the thing. The coward look towards the protector with respect. Yet in times of crisis, they find relief in looking away and keeping a weapon nearby. The fool is indifferent to both the protector and the eye of evil. As such, they are not even aware of where they stand. The rebel scorns the protector and faces away from them. 
Yet in times of crisis, they are the most faithful to the protector, hiding behind their back. This is a... Uh, spikes. Clue to a puzzle. Mm -hmm. Just do what you want. Just do what you all want to do. I don't know if it's just the, just the font or whatever But some words just look weird Oh yeah, it's this part I don't wanna die Yes. Just stand on that end and watch bullets in the distance. Even a wounded man can manage that much. I'll take care of the doll while you're doing that. Do you realize how stupid that sounds? We'll both die if we're not careful. You've got the physique to hide behind the shield. Ten there and you don't get shot. Why is everyone so noisy in this house? Is that a note? Fine. I'll do this myself. Stand back and watch. Chicken. Hey! Don't scream in my ear. Only Helena can scream in his ear if you know what I mean. <laughs> you never call me chicken again. Got that damn detective? Sure, I appreciate it. Always grateful to have a good citizen safe. Go. This is so stupid. That was so stupid. You are so stupid. Now we can try to solve this puzzle over here that I... I don't think I remember how to solve it. Whoops. And well, huh? Bells and Shepard, huh? That brings me back. Is it in the world? Similar, but not. Lived on a farm in Montana when I was a kid. There were tons of these guys. Oh, well, I knew that. <laughs> uh, shoot, 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 shoot. Hang on. Was it this guy at the back? Like this. Oh, dear. That was wrong. I was pretty sure this one was... At the very back of this guy. Unless I'm... Remembering things wrong. Yeah, I'm remembering things wrong. Let's go and look at that thing again. Uh. Uh. This one? Yep, that one. Trying to freak me out. Do I have to give you notice for every instrument you don't like yourself? 
that seems to be done. Forget it. You sure this was the best place for that? There was only one bullet. For later. Yeah, you could have just shot the boogeyman in the head. Couldn't trust someone else to carry the weapon on the roof. Just be glad it didn't discharge and blow off my head. Good thing we have here on Hugs Tactic. There's a lot of backtracking in this game. That's what makes it long. Whoops. Bye, Lance. Event time. Ah. Hey, Detective Lance, you're pretty late. We had trouble with the old man along the visit. Listen, Lance, don't get in the detective's way. This game is between me and you. You know, if you interfere too much, I'll punish you again. Get away from there. Oh, how keen, Detective. Just as you saw. I love how the curtain just completely silenced Sophie's cries. Like she didn't you can hear her cries until he opened the curtains. How the hell did the curtains just just block the noise? Magic. No one. Oh yeah. Did they look okay to you, Lance? It's shining. Move it. I don't think this isn't a timed event. Otherwise, we're really. That's a good girl, she's 17. Oh. Hey. Mr. Keith, are you okay, Mr. Keith? <laughs> Imagine Helena just 
walks in there and sees that scene. He's like, oh, you're cheating on me, right? I, I knew I was right about the divorce. I'm fine. I don't have a scratch on me. Wait, you missed your teeth. You should get off him now. I mean, really, you're, you're crushing him. I think he just called you fat. Rude. Yep. Just like Lance from Voltron, he can't follow rules. What? Did I just tell you to stay in there? Instructions. Not rules. Funny how you walked away and we're just going back there and right now and talking to them. You know why? Because I like wasting everyone's time. Hey, Mr. Keith? Where's Helen? Dead. <laughs> Shirley's axe. I think this is a good a time as any to end the video and just resume it in another one. I mean, it's an hour and 20 minutes or so. And I think that's pretty long. I have to edit out a few things like the charging this computer. So, yeah. Uh, hang on. Let's just get over here. Uh, we know exactly what happened there. Just resume everything in the next video.